Today in this video, I'm gonna tell you the three breakout stars in the Houston Texans that'll take them from this to this. Last year, we had a couple of breakout stars, Nico Collins being one of them. This year, we have three more that if they ball out, the Texans might actually get to the Super Bowl. Number one, Tank Dell. Tank Dell is an interesting story. He was a third round pick in the NFL draft out of Houston. So drafted by the hometown team, Houston Texans is always a great thing. CJ Shroud actually asked for the organization to draft Tank Dell. So you can already tell that their chemistry was gonna be on point. After week two, Noah Brown got hurt and Tank Dell shined. He was on pace to eclipse 1,000 yards. As a rookie, that is outstanding production. And he was a pivotal piece to the Houston Texan offense. Him and TJ Shroud are gonna click a lot in year two. They have Stephon Diggs and do have Nico Collins, but you can already tell, especially in that preseason game, CJ Stroud loves Tank Dell and loves to get the ball to him. With him having a chip on his shoulder, coming back from an injury, and also coming back from a gunshot wound, the fact that this guy is able to play during the season, I really believe Tank Dell has a chance to be a pro bowler or even maybe an all pro level receiver. He is that talented. I honestly think him and CJ Stroud could connect for over 10 touchdowns this year. Tank Dell has a great shot of being a big difference maker when we're facing elite teams like the Chiefs, Ravens, amongst the other ones in the NFL. Number two, Derek Stingley Jr. Derek Stingley is one of the most talented corners in the NFL. He was drafted with a number three pick in the 2022 NFL draft over Sauce Gardner. Now Sauce Gardner is seen as the best corner in the NFL. So you can imagine as a Texan fan, a lot of people were insulting us because we looked like we made the wrong decision. Derek Stingley's rookie year, he had one interception, did not impress a lot. He was injured, it did not look good, and we looked like complete fools. In my mind though, I still had faith because I knew how talented he was at LSU. So when year two came in and now he has a new defensive coach and D'Amico Ryans, I really believed he was going to shine. Beginning of the season, not a lot of things happened, but when the end of the season happened, Derek Stingley made his mark on the Houston Texans. He won Defensive Player of the Month for the months of December and January, and he was an outstanding player throughout the end of the season when facing elite wide receivers. His PFF grades increased by almost 40. He also increased his interception count from one interception to five interceptions, many of them being very timely and very clutch. Derek Stingley also had a really good preseason. He did play Daniel Jones, but he caught a really impressive interception and I was at the game for that. In my opinion, Derek Stingley, this is the year where he actually really shines, not just for a couple months, but for the entire season. And he becomes a guy who's an all pro level corner. I honestly believe Derek Stingley is on the tier of a sauce gardener but it just hadn't had the chance to really prove it but this year with full 17 games hopefully played I believe this man will really show he's an all pro and he's going to get a really big bag and we're going to need it if we're actually going to try to get to a Super Bowl number three Christian Harris Christian Harris is injured at the moment but I have a lot of faith in Christian Harris he was drafted in the 2022 draft in the second year, he had 100 total tackles and two sacks. I think the game that really stands out for me when it comes to Christian Harris is when we played the Cleveland Browns. A man had a 91.0 PFF grade, meaning he had an elite game against Cleveland. And it showed he had a pick six. He was playing outstanding football. The key thing I want you to understand, though, and really don't, is that D'Amico Ryans is his head coach. D'Amico Ryans is known for molding linebackers, one in particular, that if you know, he is an elite player. His name is Fred Warner and he plays for the San Francisco 49ers. He was a third round pick, so it wasn't like he was a top pick, but he molded him as being the best middle linebacker in the NFL. I think Christian Harris has a lot of potential and a lot of athletic ability. I'm not saying he's going to be at a Fred Warner level, but I think D'Amico Ryan's coaching ability is going to make Christian Harris be a really, really good linebacker for us. A big game I remember he had last year, he played Derrick Henry and he was helping stop the run that used to kill us all the time. Like things were changing. And I believe Christian Harris is going to be the guy who's going to lead that. We have other good linebackers on here, but I do believe that Christian Harris is going to be molded into being the guy at middle linebacker. These three players are extremely pivotal if the Houston Texans actually want to make it to a Super Bowl. This is hopefully the year that the Texans make a push and finally get out of the divisional round and make it to at least an AFC championship game. These three guys who are all drafted by the Texans all showed extreme promise, but maybe an injury has stopped it from really showing out. But this is the year I believe Tank Dell can actually make that step and be a Pro Bowl level player. Honestly, if he played the entire season, I think he would have done that last year. But I really believe this is the season where he really becomes a more of a household name. Derek Stingley Jr. deserves to be a household name already. My man is an elite corner 
different and i think this is the year that he can definitely be an all pro level player and that is extremely beneficial for a team like the texans trying to make the next step and i think christian harris can definitely be the guy for us at middle linebacker D'Amico ryan's he helped mold fred warner and i think christian harris if he can get to at least 70 percent of what fred warner is i think the texans are going to be an outstanding spot not only for now but in the future so with that those are the three breakout players hopefully the houston texans have a very successful season if you're a houston texan fan make sure to like this video for more content i try to do more breakdown videos like this for you guys and if you like this video go and check out this video right here where i do a houston texan season preview with 713 houston sports thank you guys for watching and i'll catch you guys on the next video and i'm out of here peace